Emeric, an Android developer and Wars. Want to have an awesome user experience on loading big datasets with minimum resource overhead for your apps? As part of this Met skill series on paging, I'm super excited to share with you how we at Wars use the Jetpack paging library to make developing apps much easier. The paging library enables us to fetch endless lists of data without having to build our own paging implementation. It blends in perfectly with a lot of first-class Android components like recycle views, live data, and Kotlin flows, which means we can concentrate on the app itself instead of worrying about how to work with Android. It also fits in our MVVM architecture, where we split code responsibility into repositories, view models, and UI adapters. In our MVVM architecture, we use the paging library as the funnel between data layer and the UI layer. Once it's set up, we only need to let the data stream flow through. There's no need to worry about how and what the paging library is doing. Debugging is also less of a hassle with the paging library, as we only need to focus on the implementation of the paging source. Usage of breakpoints inside a paging source allows us to gain a lot of insights because they are just suspending functions. Other considerations such as risk of dealing with configuration changes are all bundled inside the paging library, along with tons of useful APIs that design to fit most of our needs. Want to make your paging development easier? Try the Jetpack paging library with my tip. Coming up next on this MapSQ series is a live Q&A on Thursday, where the Android team will answer your questions on paging. You can ask your questions now using hashtag AskAndroid on Twitter.